Thanks. Welcome. You know, the night mom died, she shit herself. And I know when people die, they let go of all sorts of things. Loved ones, souls, bodily fluids. Except this was about two hours before she kicked the bucket. And the funny thing about someone on bed rest is she's not really supposed to move. So here I am lifting up this shit-covered woman who's about to fucking die on me, and you couldn't be bothered to pick up the fucking phone. Long night? Uncle Dylan tried to drink me under the table. Every time. Every time. Like, he's 55 and he still acts like he's not my uncle and we're college drinking buddies. What time did you surrender? I surrendered at 16. Got my emancipation and made myself a proper legal woman so I could get the fuck out of this house and away from that bitch who blamed me for knocking her up at 19. Hey, Mom. Guess what? Doesn't matter how old you are, condoms have been a thing for a while now. But no, go ahead and tell me how I ruined your 20s. Mmm, around 10. I was exhausted and I knew what this place was going to look like and it was stressing me out. So. What? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Pause, you're staring at me like you're waiting for me to explode and shower you with entrails and eyelashes. That's lovely. Uh, no, I'm not trying to look at you. I'm just looking at you. Well, will you sit down? Eat a piece of toast? Jesus Christ. I always forget you eat toast like that. Yeah, well, I got it from Mom. I know where you got it from. You like the flowers? Didn't really notice them. Fucking calla lilies. There is a perfect example of her bullshit. They don't have a smell, but there's mom telling us she smelled blueberries. Or chocolate. Or strawberries. And I get it, you're adopted. You ate that fantasy shit up with a spoon. Why aren't you staying for the will? Because... Because last night I decided I didn't want any of mom's shit. Sorry for fucking up your life. Here's me having the last word. Fuck that. You keep it. Sell it. Go back to school. <gasps> Look at that. Out of excuses. Are you just gonna leave your plate? Don't be petty. <laughs> I'm petty? You got divorced because mom liked Shane and I'm... Wow, see, you date married men almost exclusively, and whether it's dating or screwing or letting a married man go down on you, it's, it's fucked up all day. She chose you, Paz. You got the mom who went to Girl Scout meetings. I got the mom who was broken. Who remembered birthdays. Who needed someone to take care of her. Who organized Christmas present scavenger hunts. And bailed you out of financial straits but couldn't sign a college loan. And I got the drug dealer who had me arrested because the guy she was fucking was running a drug lab in our basement. I was nine. She literally saved my life. You got the good mom. Did I? Mom lost me my scholarship and left me homeless and she never apologized. <laughs> and I know that. I always have. But what does that have to do with me? Zora! Zora, hey! Zora, wait! Stop! Listen, Mom is gone. And for four years, I've been taking care of things. By myself. So I don't think that two days is too much to ask of my sister. Look, but I... If you want big sister's help, then here it is. Let the lawyers do their job and move on with your life. But I made you breakfast. What, what time is... Look, okay, I can, I can, I can stay for the lawyers, okay? Okay. 
Can I go get dressed now? No. I just put your clothes in the dryer. <laughs> okay. I'll be up in my room. Mom's. Got so many words to say None do us any good I'm caught between what I want to say What I really should Cause you're still Looking for answers inside of me 